Hey guys, it's Jenny, and today I am working from home, so I'm going to try and show you guys what I'm eating since it's a little easier when I'm at home. Um, and this is day five of Rata 4 for me. Um, sorry, my dogs are making a bunch of noise in the background. Um, it is 10.30 in the morning, so I've been up for about an hour and a half. I actually overslept. And which is why I'm working from home because I wasn't ready to go to work yet. Um, and sometimes, some days I can just as easily work from home. So, um, sorry, my dogs are playing. They're really excited since they're like all hyper because it's morning. Um, so right now I'm just about to eat some watermelon, which I have left over just to get it used up because it's getting pretty ripe and that's all that there is. So I can't do very much with it. I might blend it up and drink it. Um, and then after that, I'm going to probably make a date or banana smoothie. Um, so I've been, yesterday I've been learning about educating myself about food combining a little more because I wasn't, um, I don't think I really understood it fully before. So I'm trying to get a better grasp on that. So I don't eat things together that are going to give me bad digestion. Um, this might be a little like TMI, but the, I'm in my videos, I'm going to be truthful and honest about the actual effects of the lifestyle and what's happening to me and all of that. So um, if you don't like TMI stuff, you can stop watching. Um, yesterday, I ate a bunch of pears for lunch with some grapes, and I got, like, diarrhea for, like, the whole afternoon. And, like, I mean, it wasn't, like, painful or anything. It was just annoying because I kept, like, I was at work, and I kept having to get up and go to the bathroom. And, um, so I am trying to improve my food combining so that I don't have things like that happening. And that could also be part of the detox of just from switching my lifestyle. Um, some people have told me that that's pretty typical. So um, I'm not too concerned about it. You know, I made sure that I kept hydrated and I feel fine today. So um, as far as the, the detox stuff, I've also noticed I'm kind of breaking out a little bit. Um, I had... Like, I've had mild acne for several years, and I've heard that this lifestyle can help clear up your skin as well, so I'm hoping that will help. Um, but I did hear that when you start, um, part of the detoxing process can be um, getting some breakouts. So, trying not to get too <laughs> concerned about that either. I'm also um, actually, um, it should be about the time where I'll have my period, so it could be hormon hormonal effect, the acne and stuff so yeah so I don't know how I've also heard that this lifestyle can make you have a lighter period and I've always had a really heavy period that lasts a full week so that is something that I would be really excited if if um, this lifestyle would affect that and improve it um, and yeah I did take birth control for about a year and that made it better but I don't want to have to rely on drugs you know, to do that. I'm not on birth control now. And sorry, my puppy is getting into all sorts of trouble. He's pulling stuff off the table. He's got a tube of wrapping paper. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I just wanted to give a little more information about myself and the other health benefits that I'm looking for with Rato 4. Um, overall, I would like to lose weight. Hold on. Overall, I would really like to lose weight and just be healthy overall, but I'm also really interested in some of the other benefits like the clear skin and improved menstruation, um, whiter teeth, you know, that kind of stuff. So um, I think this lifestyle just in general is going to be a huge improvement on my life. So I really can't wait to get rolling. I wish I could like fast forward time so I was like further into it and seeing all the benefits, but I'm going to stick with it. Also, last night, a friend invited me to go out with her to dinner, and I had already eaten, first of all. So if I hadn't already eaten, I probably – it was an Italian restaurant. So if I hadn't already eaten, I probably would have gone with her and maybe ordered, like, a salad without any meat or dairy on it um, and maybe, like, asked if I could get just, like, some plain pasta with tomato sauce or something like that. But I had already eaten, so um, she was like, well, you can just get a drink, but I really didn't want to get – I stopped drinking soda. Um, actually, I stopped drinking soda a couple weeks before I started Rato 4. And I I don't want to stop drinking alcohol completely forever because 
I do, like, I enjoy going out for drinks with my friends and stuff, but I, and I don't think it would be the worst thing to have, like, once a month have one beer when I'm out with my friends or something like that, but while I'm starting out, I really don't want to be tempting myself with those kinds of things, like, I, you know, I'm just starting, so I don't want to throw myself off track by having a beer and have it mess everything up. I, um, so, and I asked for some advice in a Facebook group, a Rato 4 Facebook group, and people told me, like, you know, do what you want, but this is the, what the effect would be and what the risk would be with that. So I decided not to have a drink, but I did go out with her, and I just had some water. And she, you know, she had her wine, and she was eating her food, and it was fine, like, she had um, a pizza, and it actually smelled really good, but I actually, I wasn't looking at it like, oh, I wish I could eat that, or, you know, when I've been on diets before, if, you know, if I'm trying to restrict calories and stuff, you're always looking at other people's food, like, you know, she's a close friend of mine, so if I wanted a piece of her pizza, I wouldn't hesitate to ask her, but I, I didn't want it, so I thought that was really cool, like, this lifestyle is really... Uh, it doesn't leave you like craving other stuff or hungry uh, already. I mean, the first couple days I was craving like cakes and stuff, but I'm not anymore because I found out why and I fixed it. Um, I've heard from many people that if you're craving sweet stuff at the end of the day, you need to eat even more fruit during the day. So um, I did that yesterday and I didn't crave sweets at the end of the day. So that is awesome. And <laughs> that's going to be it for now. Um, I just wanted to say I am loving this lifestyle. I think my puppy wants to say hi to you guys. Oh, this is Ferris. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm loving the lifestyle so far and I can't wait to continue. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. It's about 12:15 now. Um, I just ate the watermelon earlier. I didn't have like a real breakfast. Um, but I'm probably going to have, um, some more fruit later too before, um, four o'clock. So, um, Right now I'm making, I froze some bananas, so I'm making banana ice cream. I haven't made it yet, but I've seen lots of pictures and videos of people making it, and it looks really good, so I'm going to try that, and um, I'm going to add some blackberries to it, because um, these blackberries, some of them have gone bad already. I picked out some that had, like, mold on them, so I want to use them up before they all go bad. Look how delicious they look. Yummy, yummy. So I'm going to put some blackberries in there and um, maybe some, I have some blueberries and raspberries as well, but I think I'm just going to do the blackberries. I don't know. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. All right, here's my blender. I'm going to mush it down in there. I'm kind of, I, my blender is not very good. I haven't bought a fancy one um, because I don't have the money to buy a really nice one. This is just one my grandma had and it's seriously from like, the 60s or something like look at the plug on it it looks so old but it, it works pretty well as far as the smoothies i have not I'm not sure how it'll work for ice cream so we're gonna find out let's see look at the beautiful color it looks delicious all right, I'm going to see. I don't know if it's still kind of chunky. Maybe. Oh, yeah, there's a couple chunks still. It's not really ice creamy texture, but it's more like it's thicker than, like, smoothie texture, though. So let it go a little bit more on the low setting. I think it's not chunky anymore. So maybe I just need to do it on a lower setting. I'll have to try next time, but for now this will be good. So I'm going to just eat it like this. It tastes pretty good. So that's what I'm going to eat for, I don't know, <laughs> right now. Um, and I had a couple of dates too, but um, so I might eat some more dates later. I seriously think dates should be considered candy because that's what they taste like okay I actually ended up putting the ice cream in the freezer so it can like stiffen up a little bit and maybe I'll eat it in a little bit but I'm gonna just eat some dates for now instead because it was still like a little it wasn't like liquidy enough to be a smoothie and I could have just added 
like some coconut water and made it a smoothie or something, but I'm going to let it get a little more frozen and then I'm going to eat it. So I'm just going to eat some dates for now. They're really good. All right, it's now about 3.15 and I'm about to have some um, mint mojito fruit salad. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in. I'm going to put some strawberries and these strawberries are not the best. Um, they like you can see how some of them look really white in the middle, and that's sad because they're not very good that way. But um, I'm gonna eat most of them, and um, my mom bought those. And then I'm gonna put the blackberries in that I showed you guys earlier because they need to be used up. They're, so, they're gonna go bad soon. I'm gonna put in some blueberries. Probably not all of those because it's a lot of blueberries, and those are not going bad or anything. I'm gonna put in some delicious raspberries and. I'm going to put in some fresh mint leaves, and these are also starting to get a little bit droopy, so I want to use those up. Um, sorry, there's some, like, blindingness going on behind me. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to make. Oh, mint smells so good. I love mint. Um, and this is the same thing I made when I went to my family get-together on Saturday, and everybody ate it, except the only difference is I added watermelon in it that day. I'm not going to do that today because I'm trying to do better food combining, at least to start out, so that my digestive system can get in a better, um, just better digestion. Um, and melon is not supposed to be, like, the best to combine with other stuff. So I had the watermelon for breakfast this morning, and now I'm going to leave it out of the salad. What The other things I put in the salad is um, a little bit of coconut sugar and a little bit of orange juice, just to give it a little more flavor. So I'll show you that once it's all together. Um, but anyway, yeah, now I'm going to eat this, and I'll update you guys when I have dinner. All right, so I noticed this video is getting kind of long, so I want to try and finish it up. <laughs> Sorry, Ferris is playing with a squeaky toy. So I'm just going to show you guys what I'm planning to have for dinner. I might have some kiwis um, pretty soon. It's 4.45. I might have some kiwis and then wait a little while before I have dinner. Um, because I've noticed I tend to stay up late, and then I want to eat more. Um, and just, I'm just a night owl. Like, I'm trying to improve my sleeping habits, but sometimes it's really hard for me to go to sleep early, especially, like, right around when I get my period, I get really bad insomnia. So, um, I'm, I think I'm going to try and do the raw a lot longer than four, because then what happens is I eat, you know, I eat fruits in the morning and stuff, and then I eat, a, like, I am eating, like, carbs, like, two times at night sometimes, because I still feel I'm up longer so I get hungry again or I want to eat more so um I'm gonna wait a little bit before I have my dinner and maybe have some more fruit in between but this is what I'm probably gonna have for dinner um these are sweet potato slices and these are leftover from last night I actually sliced these up two nights ago and last night like after I made made most of my dinner I realized I had these in the fridge and that they were gonna get yucky if I didn't cook them last night so I baked them um and I had a few of them and these actually make a good, like, dessert if you do want something sweet after your, like, carb carbs. Because I just put, like, a little bit of cinnamon and um, and coconut sugar on them. And then I bake them in the oven. So I'm just going to put these back in the toaster oven and get them crispy again to eat them tonight. Um, and then I have some broccoli, which is just plain old, good old steamed broccoli. And I tried not to, I got it cooked perfectly this time. Last time I cooked it, I overcooked it a little, and it was, like, not so bright green and pretty anymore. And then this is a vegetarian goulash, I guess you could say, or vegan goulash. It's just macaroni noodles, and they're um, veggie pasta, so they're actually made, they're made with wheat and then with carrots. There's, there's pureed carrots and some other vegetable in that. Um... So, um, I'll write that on the screen here. I don't remember what other vegetables are in here, but, um, in the pasta. So the pasta is actually really good. This is my first time having it. Um, sorry, my dogs are making noise. <laughs> and then, um, there's some stewed tomatoes mixed in there and I mixed in, um, crushed red pepper flakes because I really like those. I like spicy food and I mixed in black pepper and Italian seasoning. So this is actually super, super good. I'll probably eat the whole thing. I ate some of it last night. Like, like I was talking about, I got hungry later. So I like opened this and like ate a little bit of it. So that's what I'm going to probably have for dinner. Um, and maybe some lettuce with it because I haven't been eating the lettuce that I bought and I don't want it to go bad. 
So, um, I don't know. I just haven't been feeling like eating lettuce. I had some the first night that I started Rotto 4, and then uh, otherwise I've just not been feeling like lettuce. So, But I'm going to try and make myself eat a little bit of that tonight. So, that's going to be it for today. And um, thank you so much for watching if you watch this whole thing. I know it's kind of long. I'm going to try and edit it down a little bit. But, yeah, that's going to be it for today. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.